July 23, Thursday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew The disciples approached Jesus and said, Why do you speak to the crowds in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich from anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them which says, You shall indeed hear but not understand, you shall indeed look but never see, Gross is the heart of these people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, Many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord Why do you speak in parables? In the opening verse of the Gospel, the disciples ask Jesus, Why do you speak to the crowds in parables? This question invites us into a deeper appreciation of parables in Jesus' evangelizing ministry. A parable is a type of comparison. It can be a story, a metaphor, or a simile drawn from ordinary human life or nature that is used by Jesus to make a religious point. In the New Testament, we often read phrases such as, Kingdom of heaven is like, and to what shall I compare? Jesus speaks in this way to introduce his parables. He begins with something familiar, then he leads us into a deeper spiritual truth. To comprehend Jesus' message, our hearts must be open. We must cooperate with God's grace, because we cannot understand Jesus' message by our human efforts alone. Today, Jesus concludes by telling us that we should rejoice because our eyes have seen Our ears have heard, and our hearts have accepted knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Let us thank the Lord daily for the gift of faith that we possess.